Hello everybody and welcome back to my dusty and overcrowded book corral. Thank you for checking in. Today we have a really interesting oddity uh, from 1944. Uh, it's about a book that was a novelization before that was a thing, you know, uh, from an Errol Flynn movie. And the movie was this one, Uncertain Glory. This is the original lobby card from Uncertain Glory. Uh, starring Errol Flynn, and we're going to talk today about the film, and we're going to talk about the book by Herb Meadow. Herb Meadow wrote the novelization to Uncertain Glory, and it uh, was published to coincide, obviously, with the release of the film, and I'll have a scan of this later. And this is Herb Meadow's only novel, based upon the screenplay by Lazno Vedne and, remarkably, Max Brand who died the same year uh, this film was released. Max Brand was, of course, a noted Western writer who also worked in Hollywood. He became a war correspondent, and he was killed in Italy in 1944. Uh, Herb Meadow was a screenwriter and producer and is best known today not for this uh, novelization, uh, but he's really he's best known for creating this television series, the classic Have Gun, Will Travel. So there's a lot of interesting connections to Uncertain, Uncertain Glory um, in our little uh, brief discussion today. This is one of the all-time great Western series. Obviously, I own the, uh, the complete set here. Um, so Uncertain Glory, starring Errol Flynn, uh, was a, a project that was near and dear to his heart. And he wanted to do something that was outside of the heroic mold that he had uh, become so well known for. Robin Hood and, and so forth. The Swashbucklers, Captain Blood, the Westerns and so forth. So he took on the role here of kind of a unscrupulous thief um, during wartime. Uh, so this is a really timely film for the period. And it is, um, uh, I think, a remarkable film. I think it's uh, underrated. And I think that um, Flynn's performance in this film is superb. I really think it's one of his top five performances. Uh, it's not one of his better known performances. So again, here's the lobby card. I'll see if I can scan that for you. I have uh, quite a large collection of Errol Flynn material, as some of you know, un undoubtedly already. Um, so how's the book? How does the book compare to the film? Well, there's slight differences, as you would expect. Lazno Vadney wrote uh, the primary uh, script. I'm not sure how much Max Brand contributed to the script. Um, I'm not one of those that goes to the Warner Brothers archives and starts digging through files. Um, I'm more interested in uh, the end result. Um, so uh, either way, I think the film is uh, an underrated wartime classic with one of the great performances by the great Errol Flynn. Uh, in it, the book is okay. It's capably written. We're not talking hard boiled in the in the same vein as Raymond Chandler. Okay, we're not. That's not anywhere near that. But it does what it was meant to do. Um, Herb Meadow obviously knew how to write. He wrote many many uh, teleplays for television and screenplays, and pretty much that was his career. Um, and he's pretty well known for doing those other things. So this is really an oddity. His only novel based upon a screenplay for one of Errol Flynn's great, great performances. This is a, uh, the novelization uh, was published by Grassette and Dunlap and features Flynn on the cover and on the, on the back as well. Uh, so good material to read if you're an Errol Flynn fan. Uh, and you're looking for something different with, with some interesting connections. Herb Meadow, the guy that created what, what I consider to be one of the all-time great Western television shows um, ever. Uh, he worked on quite a, a lot of other interesting things. You can look up Herb Meadow on the IMBD website and see the other fascinating things that he did. Um, so Uncertain Glory by Herb Meadow. This book shows up on eBay fairly often it is not a rare book it is not scarce it seems to be everywhere a lot of dealers put this book out there usually with a ratty uh dust jacket claiming that it's a rare book it's not i, I don't think it is because it's everywhere i see this book everywhere um it's not necessarily the type of book that you're going to sit down and read uh, unless you're an errol flynn fan and i would recommend it for that reason if you're an errol flynn fan you might want to read this to see 
slight differences in the story, not much. Capably written by Herb Meadow, one of the uh, a great creative person, I think. Um, and notable because Errol Flynn uh, puts in this film one of his great, superb, underrated performances. So a little bit of a literary oddity today here at McNulty's Dusty Book Corral, where I'm stuck in yet another corner. Uh, but I'm having fun doing it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this little look back uh, on this. If you're interested in Errol Flynn, I might as well give a plug to my own book. I spent 10 years researching and writing uh, this biography of Errol Flynn, which was published in 2004 and remains in print. Uh, this is not a book of in-depth insight into the films. Uh, I wasn't interested in doing that. I was interested in understanding the man and his creative life uh, and his remarkable travels throughout the world. Remarkable man, Errol Flynn, one of the all-time great adventurers. I would put him up in the last century. I would put him up there as far as uh, an adventuresome life. I would put him up there with Zane Grey. Pretty much a lot of similarities there. Uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, uh, but uh, Errol Flynn was one of a kind, one of the all-time great classic actors from Hollywood's golden age. So if you're interested in anything I've done, I pick up Errol Flynn, still available, published by McFarland. And in the meantime, uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little oddity, and uh, I will see you along the dusty trail.